had James on his dashboard. He didn't have anything else. That was my radio <laughs> name. And uh, called the next day, and I was in the middle of a request line and hung up on him. <laughs> I'm busy right now. Call you later. So he called back and, and said, you know, look, I'm, I'm trying to hire someone to be a weather person, and I'm wondering if you're interested. And I said, well, I've only worked here two weeks. Mm -hmm. And so the answer is no, because you don't start a job and leave two weeks later. <laughs> well, he said, now I know you're ethical. i got to talk to you, you know. So he brought me in, and basically Carlton Cremines was a storyteller first, and we spent two and a half hours swapping stories. Right. And uh, he took me into the studio, and because Wink had been a rip and read operation with no news department, he gave me some copy and I read it on camera. And he hired me then, but I made him wait nine months until I graduated LSU. And that's when I started here, was the week after I graduated. I love it. And talk about being faithful. She started in 1981, still going strong, smiling faces and jazz <laughs> hands. <laughs> and you know, it's, it's not that you're just active on the job. I've been at a baseball game on Southern's campus, and I'll see you pull up with a busload of little kids. And I was like, wait, isn't, isn't that? It is. Talking about just being active in the community. Now that's very important. We see one side of you being there for us, being the voice of reason on so many different occasions. But to see that your heart really carries out into the community and you really do great deeds, we can't thank you for that enough. Now if you had to give any words of encouragement to someone that's even considering entering this field, what would it be? I'm not sure that they could follow my pattern because I was recruited those things may not happen for them. But what you do need to do is you need to be a people person and realize that your reporting can also be an answer to problems. Right. And uh, I'm not saying be activists, but find the people who are doing the good and show people what they are doing. And I, I think it also reassures people when they're sitting at home that a person can do something meaningful right. you know, and can make a difference in the community. And if we are quiet about those people, we're doing wrong. <laughs> yeah. yeah, definitely. We appreciate you. We can't thank you enough. But we want to step above the t-shirt. Okay. We wanted to give you something really nice. We want to present this award to you on behalf of the Cumulus Baton Rouge Community Excellence Awards. It reads, this Community Excellence Award is presented to none other than the one and the only glam girl diva to get it done. <laughs> Donna Britt, for your dedication and service in the Baton Rouge area. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, Tangie. Oh. Congratulations, and we love you. Thank you so much. And thank you for all you do. Wow. All right, are we finished? Yeah.